back to the Ponix Haven. This is Craig. This is part two of the vertical reigning tower. So what you're going to need in this video is a little jig. It is made off a, a two inch four foot thing that I bought um, at Lowe's. I do believe where I bought it or Home Depot. One of them. I'm sure both of them has it. You need to cut it in an angle. This is going to be to help form the holes for each one. So, and also you're going to need a, a, something, put some water in, and a rag, you want it cold water, to help cool off everything, you'll work better doing this. So, and plus you're going to need a heat gun. So, let's get started with this video. What you're going to do, you're going to heat this area right here. And it's important that you get it hot enough that it's very flexible. You do not want to force your jig into the hole. If you do, you're going to rip it, which the rip can be fixed by using what they call putty epoxy. But you don't want to have to do that. I did it on my first one until I figured out exactly how hot I had to have this thing for it to work. So, but it just takes a little bit of time. It's best to don't rush anything. Just take your time. If you'll watch it, as this gets hot here, this will pucker the hotter it gets. So you'll, you'll figure it out that it's kind of a sign to, to let you know that it's starting to, hopefully the wind is not crackling too bad, but it's got a little bit of a front coming in, hopefully it won't. So basically what you're going to do, you're just going to push that in there. As it heats up. As it heats up, you can, you'll start giving. You can kind of feel it give. And once you get it past that little mark, then you're where it needs to be. Just hang that thing in there. Take your rag. Just lay it on there, cool it off. See how nice and you don't want to wring it out too much. You want to be able to get that thing wet a little bit. I want to show you something. Didn't quite get it hot enough. See where it split right there? So that's not what you want to do. So just cool it down. All right. Just go to the next one.
I said, you don't need to get in a hurry. Just take your time. If you start getting frustrated with it, just walk away from it. Come back to it. Um, first one I did, it probably took me an hour and a half to do all the holes. So, just want to take your time. Put it on high, probably do a little bit better. Okay. Now, if you keep it too long in one place, you're going to burn it. You don't want to burn it. Don't want to do that. Now we're having a problem here, splitting a little bit. So when it starts doing that, just cool it off. I forced it. It split bad, but it split enough, more than what I wanted it to do. And the, the whole the split's got to be fixed because if you don't. You're going to have problems with the water leaking out. So, and that's something you don't want. And you got water running out of your thing onto your top of your, and then you got a problem with losing water. See how it split? Didn't quite get it hot enough. All right. Okay. So, but you just continue doing this all the way through on all of them and get them all done. You can um, go to the next step. But anyway, we're going to stop the video here. And when we pick up, I'll have all this done. And we'll go to the next step, how to, um, how to mount the tower in the bucket that I have. And um, go from there. But this is Craig. With the Ponics Haven. Hope you're having a good day. God bless. Bye. We are at the last one. Now from from where it's cut to to here is two and a half inches. I didn't give you that on the first video, but it's two and a half inches. All right. Now you see you see that um. It's a tight line right there where I cut it. But as you begin to heat it, I want to show you this. As you heat it, what will happen? As it will begin to pucker, like I said earlier, I want to show you exactly what it does. And also, I 
as I was doing this, I wrapped some tape around it so I could get a looser fit for the net pot. It seemed to be a little bit tighter than what I wanted, so I wrapped some tape around it. So that's really, I want it to be tight, but not too tight. Some, some of the um, holes on the other one I built was a little bit too tight and it wouldn't just fit in there all the way like I wanted it to. So, so that's what I did to to um, get it to open up a little bit more. As you heat this, you'll see how it, how it will pucker. Get a little close up on that in the video. So I'm heating from here to here. If you need to take in, that you don't want to get this too hot either to lose its shape. So, so you see how how flexible that is. You just slide that in. that's how easy it is just take your time make sure you get it hot enough if you get it hot enough it will not tear as you can see there's no tears in these at all all these that's the second one I did that tore I didn't get it hot enough but the rest of these there's no tear tears in make sure you cool all of it off just let water run on it just don't let it drip on your gun don't want to electrocute yourself. Cool it off on the inside. All right. There you go. That's where the second one that I did that split just a little bit. That is the only one out of all these I've done. I've got one more set of lines to do. I just want to give that to you. Okay, have a good day.